What up guys, welcome back to the channel. So look, today I wanna go over two stereo techniques that I use to enhance the stereo width in the songs that I produce or songs that I mix. You know, I do these things while I'm working, but a lot of times what happens is I'll get sessions from other people or artists or whatever that I mix. And even though the producer will send the sound on a stereo track, there's no stereo information or there's so little stereo information that it really doesn't sound wide enough. So I'll use one of these just to enhance it. So let's just get right into it. The first thing uh, that you should know is that I actually have this stereo width plug-in on my master and it's all the way at zero. It's bypassed right now because we don't even need it. But I have it here to check the uh, mono compatibility of uh, the stereo enhancement that we're gonna do because you wanna make sure whatever you're doing to enhance the stereo with, you wanna make sure that it's still mono compatible because there's a lot of systems that still play in mono. And not only that, you know, uh, when you're playing it in mono, uh, stereo information can sometimes get a little funky, whether it be because of comb filtering, you know, with, with frequencies canceling out or whatever. And you want to make sure that that sound still sounds strong in mono. So that's why that's there. So the first trick we use is super easy. You just, uh, before we even do that, let me play the guitar loop that we're going to be enhancing so you hear what it sounds like. All right, that's what it sounds like. So first thing we want to do, let's insert a plug in. Let's go to delay and we're going to go to mod delay mono stereo. And all that's going to do is take this mono sound and make it a stereo sound. Now I'm using Pro Tools, so I use this particular delay plug in. But if you're using another DAW, you can use any delay plug in that you have at your disposal. I recommend the one that comes with your DAW because I'm pretty sure that's the most simple one. And I like to use this a lot because of the simplicity of it. So the first thing we want to do is delay the right side. Let's just start at four milliseconds. Now I'm delaying the right side because I want the sound to sound like it's coming a little bit from the left. Now, if I was to delay the, the left side, it's gonna sound like it's coming from the, the right. So keep that in mind, whatever side uh, is delayed, it's gonna sound like it's coming from the undelayed side. You understand what I'm saying? So by delaying the right side, we're pushing the sound left in the stereo field by delaying the, the, the uh, left side, we will be pushing the sound right in the stereo field. But let's listen to it. So sounds pretty good, but to me, when I would do that before, it would always sound like it was coming too far from the left side to me. So I always, I uh, was like, man, how can I make it sound like it's coming from a little bit more center and also get rid of that uh, the comb filtering when it was played back in mono because there, there are going to be certain frequencies that are going to cancel out. What I like to do and what I found that helped that tremendously is by low pass filtering the, uh, the undelayed side. So right here, we're just going to use the low pass filter that's on the delay plug in. So let's play it back and let's adjust the low pass filter as we listen to it. And just like that, we got a stereo sound. And if we had other sounds in the mix, it would be out of the way of the vocals, out of the way of the drums. And it just kind of makes the whole track sound bigger just by that sound being stereo. But let's check it in mono to make sure, you know, nothing is happening funny in mono and nothing is canceling out. Let's bypass it. Let's listen to it in mono, what it sounds like with no delay, and then we'll listen to it and I'll, I'll kind of switch back and forth. Mm -hmm. 
and you can experiment with different delay times. Like I said, I'm just using four milliseconds and I'm using uh 1253 hertz as uh, the cutoff point for my low pass filter, but you can ex experiment with different cutoff points and different delay times. Now to enhance this further, what I like to do sometimes is I'll actually add a pitch shift uh, plug in. So let's do multi mono pitch shift. Let's unlink the left and right side and let's just use the fine and let's because this is just basically semitones let's take this down the left side let's take it down by 10 cents and hear what it sounds like What that did is it kind of gave the sound a kind of a, a, a flanger chorus effect, especially in mono. I'll play it in mono so you can hear it. So that's something you guys can experiment with, just taking a, uh, a delay plug in, delaying one side, depending on what side you delay, like I said, it's gonna sound like it's coming more from the undelayed side. So, you know, you can play with different timing, different low pass filter cutoff points, adding some pitch uh, and, and pitching one side down or pitching one side up. Like I could actually go in here and I could pitch the right side up a little bit if I wanted to, you know what I'm saying? So I'll leave that up to you guys' imagination. So that's the first one. The second one, uh, let's get rid of this delay. Let's get rid of this pitch. What we're gonna actually do is we're gonna create a send track. So let's uh, go click here, let's click new track. And let's actually create a mono and let's just name this depth. The first plugin we wanna insert is actually delay, and we're gonna do a uh, time adjuster. All right, and then the next plugin that we wanna insert is actually, we're gonna do mod delay three again. And the only thing we wanna do on this mod delay plugin is we wanna um, phase reverse one side. So you can do left or right. By phase reversing one side, what actually happens is when we play this back in mono, it's just gonna cancel each other out. So you don't have to worry about any cone filtering or anything you know, funny happening in mono. But anyway, uh, so we sent it at Unity Gain to de the depth uh, channel. Now let's adjust the time adjuster delay until it, we hear the sound kind of move back. This kind of helps with that front to back space as well as the stereo width. So like I was saying, you can hear just the spaciousness of the guitar with that. And let's check it in mono just so I can show you guys how it, it cancels out in mono. Whether or not we had that sin uh, enabled going to that depth channel or not, you really can't hear any change because uh, when you're listening to it in mono, it's just not there. But in stereo, especially like when you're listening to it on headphones or in, in a studio or in a car or whatever, uh, you're going to hear that spaciousness in that sound or whatever you're using this for. You don't necessarily have to just use this for sounds. You can use it for reverbs. Uh, you can try it with different effects like flanges or phasers or whatever. 
you know, the possibilities really are endless, but I just wanted to give you guys a good starting point to just get you started. It's really up to your creativity and your imagination. You know, I can even take this one, uh, this last technique, and I can add some EQ behind it, and I can add pitch just like I did the first technique and uh, pitch one side up or down just to give it a little space just to enhance it but like i said you always want to check it in mono to make sure that it's not doing nothing crazy and that it still sounds good whether you're switching from mono or the stereo but look don't forget to leave a thumbs up drop a comment below let me know what you think and if you got any stereo techniques or plugins that you use let me know about those in the comment section below all right i'll catch you guys on the next one arrivederci